Welcome back to On Comics. It's another great day in the state of Texas, and I do have to say, while I, in a way, expected but didn't expect how this one was going to go down, I tell you what, this is kind of uh, kind of humorous. So, uh, Joe Biden has tested positive for COVID-19 for the second time. He once again is in isolation, and that's going to put him on ice uh, away from cameras, back down in the basement where no one can see him, or I guess upstairs in the attic of the White House where, uh, where no one can see him and hear him after a series of blunders. Uh, they're, they're finding more and more ways to... Uh, Put the president on ice, and hey, it's not it's not going to matter. He's uh, he's not going to be uh, doing any worse than his administration that that's really really on their heels uh, during during this run of the administration. Uh, let's see here if there's anything particularly interesting. Uh, yeah. Dr. Kevin O'Connor, the White House physician, says in a letter that it's rare. It is a rare rebound case. I usually observed in a small percentage of patients treated with Paxlovid. Whatever. So they're going to try to turn this into a Paxlovid uh, PR stunt. Assuming that he actually has COVID-19 again, assuming that he actually got over COVID-19 the first time, I think they might just be saying he's got COVID-19 to keep him out of, uh, in front of the camera. Uh, breach of protocols, eh, I don't care. So the president's currently 79. It's a wonder he recovered at all. And uh, this may be the uh, Democrat Party's um, way out for the... Uh, president to uh, have a graceful exit before the election. That said, that's all I have on that topic. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later when I can. Bye now.